Hey guys, Cheese here, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. How's everybody doing today? I'm having a great day today, and we're back here on my Beginner's Island server. And on today's episode, I think it's time that we move up to a bigger, stronger, more stamina, more weight flyer. That's right, it's time to tame an RG. So on today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to trap and tame an RG. They're super useful. They're able to carry lots of weight. They're able to fly a lot further, much, much, much further than a Pteranodon can fly. They're able to pick up a lot more creatures and help you tame things. So it's gonna be really great and really helpful to learn. So if you guys like this episode, please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button, yeah! And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. All right, now before I go, I wanna do a few things around the base. I wanna show you guys, I put gates uh, gates in all the gateways. So we're, we're a little bit more protected. I had some time to gather up some more resources and I'm sick of water skins. So I'm gonna make myself a canteen before we go. So we're gonna go into our Ingrams, learn canteen, bam, there it is. It's made in the fabricator that we made last episode. So we'll go into here to miscellaneous. There's canteen, pull, we have the stuff, and craft. These are really great. They hold uh, four drinks of water and they don't leak. So it's really good. That's the main thing that bothers me about the water skins is that they leak water over time. So quite often you'll not be paying attention. And by the time you need water, your water skin's empty. So we now have a full water skin, uh, which is really great. So. Now, in order to go tame our first starter RG, we're not able to make the kibble yet. So we're gonna use prime meat to start. We have 14 prime meat and then some regular meat. It's not gonna tame it perfect. It's not gonna be a perfect tame, but this is just our starter RG. I doubt we're gonna find a max level or anything like that. I'm gonna try to get something over level 100. I'd be okay with like a 120, somewhere in, the, in that line. So I'm okay with that. So if you can get prime meat or mutton, those would be great. But if not, you can just use regular meat. It takes longer and you don't get as much uh, gain in levels and uh, as good of a team. Now, in order to make our RG trap, we have five stone gateways and two reinforced gates. That's it. That's all you need to make this trap. It's very, very simple. You just have to make sure you set it up properly, right? So that's all we're gonna bring. We're gonna bring that with us. We have some darts, our uh, trank gun, of course, our long neck, and that's everything we need. So we're gonna head out. I'm gonna take my pteranodon. Uh, I would suggest using a pteranodon for this. You could probably do it on foot as well. And we're gonna see if we can find an RG. Um, let's see. There should be some. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? I love. I'm loving the winter event right now. Oh, there's two spinos. I'm glad I look at it. There's our base right there, and there's two spinos right here. So I'm really, really glad we got the gates up and the gateways in, uh, cause that's pretty scary. Spinos are no joke, especially near the water. They're really, really strong. They could easily come over there and wipe out all of our stuff. I thought that was an RG, but it's a tape jar or tapahara for people that are gonna freak out cause I call it a tape jar. But for me, it's a tape jar. I don't care how it's actually supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> tape jar is more fun to say. Uh, so, we're gonna fly around here, give a quick little peek. I may have to take a cut and fly around until we find an RG. As you can see, our Pteranodon, although has been has served us quite well, his stamina is just terrible. So I can only fly about that far and then I need to stop and get stam over and over and over again. And his weight is 187. So his weight's absolutely terrible as well. So an RG is gonna be a huge quality of life upgrade for us. Um. Now there's the redwoods over there. Be careful going through the redwoods. The redwoods is a really, really dangerous place. Uh, thylas can jump off the trees and pull you off your mountain, kill you. There's lots of micro raptors. I would suggest early game until you really know what you're doing, stay away from the redwoods. And you can tell it's the redwoods when it has those really, really big and thick trees. So stay away from that area. Um, all right, I'm not seeing any RGs in our area. It's actually a little bit disorienting uh, that the whole map is white like this. I'm kind of struggling to like know where it's what. Like I think this is swamp right here, but it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I'm gonna fly around for a couple minutes 
try to find a decent RG that we can trap. Oh, there's a T-Rex right there. A level 24. Now let's not try to see. Look, I'm almost out of stam. We're landing on a T-Rex. All right, I'm going to land here. Wait for some stam. We're going to try to find an RG to try to trap and tame. And we'll be right back. And we're back. And we've discovered the classic arc conundrum. The most beautifulest RG of all time. Level 54. The most beautifulest RG of all time. That's the one I wanted to show. Where'd he go? Come here, RG. This one right here. I was like, look at this. He's so amazing. Look, he's all red. Level six. Literally the lowest possible level. But then I saw this guy. Look at this. Boom. 180. Of course, he's not fancy colors. He's just completely normal. So there's a 180 right there. Max level on my server. Uh, so that's the guy we're going to try to get, of course. The only problem is we need kind of a flattish spot to try to set up this trap. Um, this is also kind of a dangerous mountain. Oh, there's another pretty RG right there. I love all the Christmas colored guys. They're both terrible levels. Okay. I mean, we're going to go for the 180 anyway. We're not, we wouldn't choose pretty colors over a higher level, but this should work right here. Let's try, let's see if we can. Oh, 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 okay. Hold on. So another thing you can do when you get attacked like by these guys and you're on the top of a hill, you just run them off the edge, you know? Just get them to chase you for a minute and you just get them to run right down the hill. And they shouldn't be able to get back up here. So we should be good. Okay. Now let's see if we can get like a flat-ish kind of maybe... Hmm, how are we going to do this? Let's get our gates out. We need our gateways first. Now, this is a pretty easy to trap to set up. The only thing that you need to pay attention to, really, is that the side is um, wide enough for your Pteranodon to fly through, and that's it. You don't want it any wider than that. So you want it just wide enough that you can fit your Pteranodon through, but not wide enough that an RG could fly through. And that's the whole key to this trap. That's all you got to do. So if you, if you do that, you get it set up that way, then you'll be you'll be styling. So let's see if we can get these um, set up here. We're just gonna place the gates in a line, kind of spread out just a little bit. It's a little bit of a glitchy spot right here. Where this is kind of a bad spot. I'm gonna be honest. This isn't very level. I would rather it be a little bit more level and make things a lot easier for our, for our purposes. But let's see if we can get this to work in this spot. Just because this 180 is here. That should be good. Let's see if we can fit our terrain on. As long as we can fit our terrain on through, I think I actually made it too small. Oh no, we can, we're fine. So this looks perfect. See how the terrain on just barely fits through? That's abs that's perfect. This is gonna work just perfect. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put gates on just the ends. So we have two gates. We're gonna put one gate on this end. We're gonna make sure it's on manual if you're using S plus, cause you don't want the gate to accidentally open on you when you don't want it to open. And then we're going to put one on this side. Right about there. And we're going to put this one on manual and we're going to we want to open the other way like that. So this is it. This is completely done trap. And I mean, what did that take me two minute a minute to set up a minute and a half? Like it's super, super easy. Now, where did our RG go? Wait, hold on. I see bad news up here. Before we get into this, this guy is going to cause us trouble. So we're going to lure this guy off the edge. Come here, buddy. We're going to just make sure he's not up on top of the mountain to try to eat us. Okay. Now, where, oh, where did our 180 RG go? Oh, there he is. That's him right there, right? Okay. So now we're going to go down here. We're going to make sure we have stamina. So we're going to come down here. We're going to wait right here. Get completely full stam before we get into this. We're going to fly up to the RG. We're going to get him to follow us. And we're going to let him hit us a little bit so he follows us. And we're going to go just fast enough so we can lure him up to the trap. Now, it's okay if he turns off like that. Just turn around go back and get him. Get him mad again. Hey, buddy. Come here. Get mad. Hey. RGs are aggressive. So you get if you get near them, they're going to want to attack you. So you just get close to him. There we go. We're just going to lure him, playing a little. Bring him up the hill, nice and slow. 
Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, we're going to lure him again. I mean, lose him again. We're getting a little bit far away. We want to line up nice and straight for the trap. So we're lining up straight in. Make sure we're good on stamina. We're looking good. We're feeling good. We should be perfect. Looking lined up. And if we can, right into the trap. RG, uh, Tyranidon out the side. We land quick. We shut the door. We shut the door. Boom. We've done it. Super easy. RG's trapped. We're safe. Easy tame. Now you pull out your gun and you start shooting him and knock him out. Bam. Very, very easy and simple. Not a lot of materials involved. Easy to make, easy to move. Now we all to get it. All we gotta do is knock him out and he's gonna be ours. A 180. I wish we had kibble or mutton to tame him a little bit better. All we have is a little bit of prime meat, unfortunately, but we're gonna have to make do with what we can, what we have. Eventually, we'll uh, down the line, we'll breed some RGs so we have uh, really nice stats and imprints and all that. But this guy is gonna be a huge improvement over the Tyranidon that we currently have. Hi, buddy, you wanna come home with us? It looks like he's trying to run now. Maybe. Can we get knocked out for us, buddy? Keep an eye out. Make sure nothing's coming to attack us. Hopefully in a couple more darts here. There's an Anki over there, but that's okay. He's friendly. As long as we don't hit him, he won't hit us. Come on, buddy. You want to come home and be our little guy? You want to be our little guy? Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? All right. I know. There we go. Come on, man. Take a little nap for daddy. I really wish this guy was Christmas colors. If he was a 180 Christmas color, that would have been the dream. But There we go. And he's out. That's it. It's that easy. We're going to take our prime meat, put that on him. We're going to put our regular meat on him as well. So that if he goes through all the good meat you have, you want to have regular meat in there as a backup. So put your good meat and your regular meat in there, whether you have mutton or prime or whatever it is. And now it's a waiting game. So we're going to hang out, wait with this guy for a little bit. And I'll bring you guys back when he tames up. And it's up, it's up, it's up. The chargy, our first chargy of the season, super great. Now, just to see a little comparison, this guy has 4,000 health, health, 1,200 stam, and 736 weight compared to our Tyranodon with 1,000 health, 526 stam, and 187 weight. He's hugely more powerful. Like, he's going to be so much more helpful for us. Now, we're going to use our cryopod to bring him home. I didn't bring a saddle with me, so we're just going to cryopod him up. I'm going to grab this meat that I left on the ground and then uh, we're going to pick up our trap because we have S plus and we're on PC. We're just going to use our our demo gun to pick up the trap so we can use it again if we need it. And that's it. And we're going to be responsible server members as well. If you're playing on a server with other people, they're not going to appreciate it if you leave your taming traps all over the map. So always clean up your taming traps. But uh, that's it. We're going to fly back to base now and we'll be right back. And we're back and we got our brandy new RG back to base. We're going to make him up a saddle. So we're going to go into our Ingrams. We're going to look up Arge. Arge saddle is 62, I believe. There it is right there. Ooh, do we have the chitin to make this? I'm not sure. Let's see if we can make one. It crafts in your inventory. Pull. We do have it. Let's go. Making up an RG saddle. Super duper great. This guy's going to be so useful. Next episode, we're probably using him to go get a moose for thatch. We'll be able to start making, uh, bringing things to a taming pen, make things lots and lots easier for us, make metal runs easier. Boom, we've done it. We have an RG we can ride. Let's go. I believe I can fly. But that's it, guys. That's about all the time we have for today. So if you guys like this episode, please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button. Yeah. And for more. 
daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys are looking for your own ARC server like the one I use, make sure and check out my Nitrata link down below. They have really great servers and really great prices and excellent customer service. I recommend them to anybody that's looking for their own server. And if you guys haven't seen me live, I stream live on Twitch every single day. Lots of ARC and Fortnite and Minecraft, Red Dead Redemption, all sorts of other fun games. Right now, I've been doing a lot of chibi hunting and it's the Fortnite winter event. But I'd love to hang out, talk to you guys about video games and meet everybody. So you should come see me at twitch.tv slash Royale with Cheese TV. But before we go, we got to go say goodbye to Murder. Yo, Murder, what's up, man? Hey, Murder. What's going on, man? Hey, Murder, over here. Murder, look at me when I'm talking to you. What's going on, man? Uh, Not too much. We went and got an RG today. He's really, really going to be great. He's got a huge amount of weight, lots of stam. We're going to be able to carry lots of stuff and fly all, all over the island. It's going to be really awesome. What's up with you? Hmm. Not too much. Hey, what kind of elf is the most aggressive? Um, I don't know. What kind? A go fuck yourself. Get it? Get it? <laughs> no, bad murder. Go to your room. That's you can't. All right. I can't stay mad at you. I'm sorry. Give me give me a kiss. Blah, blah, blah. Um, awkward. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese and the Chargy out.